Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIEVS Home School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School Morning Shift. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. So my dear student, let us start our class. My dear student, today is our lecture number 9 of half yearly 2021. And my dear student, our today's topic is chapter 3 basic discussion. Okay. I repeat, our today's topic is chapter 3 basic discussion. My dear students, I hope you all of you have this book, EMB book. Okay. From this book, please open page number 12. From page number 12, at first, we shall learn uses of brackets. Uses of brackets. That means here some. Uh, simplification is uh, given uh, sim uh, simplification is given you need to solve this okay so my dear student use of brackets do you know how many types of brackets are there there are three types of brackets they are first bracket this is called second bracket and this is called third bracket I repeat there are three types of brackets they are first bracket second bracket and third bracket and it is a important short questions for you Je how many short question how many brackets are there so the answer will be there are three brackets they are first bracket second bracket and third bracket okay so my dear student in order to solve this type of simplification okay we follow this word both must okay but must b for bracket o for of d for division m for multiplication a for addition s for subtraction so in this type of simplification at first we do the work of bracket then of then division then multiplication then addition and last subtraction okay so we memorize this both must that means when we do uh, such type of simplification we remind this that means b for bracket as by at first we do the work of bracket then we do the work of of then division then multiplication then addition and last subtraction okay my dear student so at first we write question number two which is in page number 12 so write first here 7 plus then 45 divided by 9 plus 3 second bracket close then multiple sign then 12 minus 7 cross 2 minus 5 minus 1 and second bracket close divided by 13. So my dear students now at first we do the work of bracket from three types of bracket at first we do the work of first bracket then second bracket then third bracket here you notice here first bracket contains 12 minus 7 so at first we do this one okay so first of all we write 45 divided by 9 plus 3 second bracket close then again second bracket start and if we subtract 5 is it subtract 7 from 12 then we get 5 okay multiply by 2 minus 5 second bracket close minus 1 divided by 13 okay now first bracket is omitted now we do the work of second bracket notice 7 plus second bracket we divide 45 by 9 if we divide 45 by 9 then we get 5 so 5 plus 3 second bracket close this multiplication sign is here after that we multiply this two number 5 to jar 10 minus 5 second bracket close minus on 
third bracket close divided by 13. Now we do the work of second bracket again. So 7 plus third bracket star, then e pi at 5 with 3, then we get 8 and second bracket is omitted now. Then multiple sign is here. After that, 5 is subtracted from 10 and we get 5. Then second bracket is omitted. Okay, minus 1. Third bracket closed divided by 13. So my dear student, 7 plus. Now we do the work of third bracket. In third bracket, at first we do at multiplication. 8, 5, jar, 40. Minus 1 divided by 13. So 7 plus e pi subtract 1 from 40 then we get 39 divided by 13 here plus and division so according to the rules of both mass we do division first so 7 plus if we, if we divide 39 by 13 then we get 3 now we add 7 with 3 then we get 10 okay i hope you have understood and this is the answer of this question okay so it is so easy but you should bear in mind that when you want to solve this math then you must be very careful okay so question number two is done next we shall solve question number seven which is in page number 13 At first, we write the question here. 7, which is in page number 13. At first, start with third bracket. Then second bracket, 10 multiplied with 12 divided by 4 minus 1 minus 2. Second bracket, close. Minus second bracket, start again. Then first bracket 6 multiply 6 minus 6 divided by 2. Second bracket close. Third bracket close divided by 3. So now my dear student, at first to do the work of first bracket. Here first bracket is this one. Okay. Now the left terms are written here. 10 multiply. Here you notice this is also first bracket. So, in this first bracket, 12 divided by 4 minus 1. So, at first we do this division part. That means 12 divided by 4. If we divide 12 by 4, then we get 12. 4, 3 is at 12. So, 3, 3 minus 1. Okay. Minus 2 second bracket closed. Then again, minus second bracket start. In this first bracket 6 multiply 6 minus so there are two sign multiply sign and minus sign so which work is done first it will be 6 multiply 6 so 6 6 are 36 minus 6 okay divided by 2 second bracket close third bracket divided by 3 now my dear student third bracket close then 10 multiply by e pi subtract 1 from 3 then we get 2 because this is in first bracket so first bracket is omitted from here now minus 2 is written here and second bracket is closed now second bracket start and we do the work of first bracket here 36 minus 6 e pi subtract 6 from 36 then we get 30 and first bracket is omitted now divided by 2 second bracket close third bracket start divided by 3 okay now my dear students we shall do the work of second bracket here this is second bracket and this is also second bracket so now we multiply 10 with 2 and we get 10 to the 20 minus 2 okay second bracket close then again here you notice 30 divided by 2 that means we get if we divide 30 by 2 we get 15 and second bracket is omitted here and now here i write third bracket divided by 3 dear students 
notice 20 minus 2 second bracket is present here for this reason at first we do the work of second bracket that means here 20 minus 2 e pi subtract 2 from 20 then we get 18 so write 18 and second bracket is omitted here so 18 minus 15 and this time closed third bracket divided by 3 now 18 minus 15 we get 3 divided by 3 notice if we divide 3 by 3 then we get 1 and it is the answer i hope you have understood dear student a lot of maths just like simplification are given on page number 12 and page number 13 you must practice at home to learn this properly okay so next our last math question number five which is in page number 19 and is main number is one from one we shall solve question number five here you notice third bracket then second bracket then 4 multiply first bracket 28 divided by 7 plus 1 first bracket close minus 3 second bracket close then minus then again second bracket start then 5 multiply 7 minus 29 first bracket close then divided by 3 then second bracket close then third bracket divided by three okay so now my dear students we shall do first of all right third bracket then second bracket four multiply at first we do the work of first bracket here you notice 28 divided by 7 plus 1 here 5 multiply 7 minus 29 so we do the work of first bracket here 28 minus 7 here 5 multiply 7 so in this first bracket we do the work of 28 divided by 7 and in this section we do 5 multiply 7 so if we divide 28 by 7 then we get 4 plus 1 okay now minus 3 is written here second bracket close then again second bracket start now first bracket 5 7 jar 35 minus 29 divided by 3 second bracket third bracket divided by 3 now second bracket 4 multiply 4 plus 1 and it will be 5 minus 3 second bracket close minus 35 minus 29 and we get 6 divided by 3 second bracket close here first bracket is omitted now third bracket divided by 3 so my dear students now notice we multiply 4 5 jar 20 minus 3 okay again if we divide 6 by 3 then we get 2 okay and second bracket is omitted third bracket is written here after that we write minus divide 3 then third bracket e pi subtract 3 from 20 then we get 17 and second bracket is omitted minus 2 okay divided by 3 now we divide this 7 now we subtract this 2 from 17 we get 15 divided by 3 we divide 15 by 3 and we get 5 and it is the answer five will be the answer of this question i hope you have understood so my dear student there is no sw today but a lot of maths are on page number 12 page number 13 page number 19 just like this you need to practice to learn this properly so please practice more and more to solve such type of math as a result your knowledge will be increased so my dear students keep practicing at home abide by your parents see you soon till then assalamu alaikum